Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial, I'll be talking about the crop view. So just like a uh, detail view, crop view is uh, uh, used to focus on a portion of your drawing view and uh, it basically eliminates all the, uh, all the other part of the drawing except the defined area. So as you can see, this is a crop view of the auxiliary view which we have already seen uh, in the tutorial. So the this is the crop portion of that auxiliary view all right now this uh, crop section can be created using different sketch entities like a rectangle circle or any spine or any other closed contour sketch we can uh, crop any uh, any drawing view except the detail view because uh, a detail view is basically a small portion of your drawing we cannot crop it so we can create the crop view from any other views basically all the auxiliary view or projected view or the model view we can use crop view on those different views and then create a section or you can say the crop portion of that view all right so let's see how we can uh, create this type of crop view inside solidworks drawing let's close it for now I have my part already. Let's go for file, make drawing from part, choose the sheet size. Let's go for default. I'll drag my front view from the view palette. And let's adjust our front view. Coming over here. Then let's create the auxiliary view which I have already told you in a tutorial. So let's do it once again and select this edge and we have our auxiliary view. I'll change it to hidden lines removed so it's more uh, clearly now if, you, if I change it to other views it's more kind of complicated. Let's go for hidden lines removed and over here from tools go to options go to document properties inside views auxiliary change the view standard to ANSI so we can have this double arrow thing which auxiliary view needs the most all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna crop this auxiliary view to basically highlight all these holes right let's go for crop view from view layout or you can go to insert drawing view and then select crop it says please sketch a closed sketch profile in the drawing view to create a crop view to create a closed sketch profile i'll go to sketch select you can select rectangle or circle i will select spline for this case zoom in a bit and then our uh, spline right click and you can pretty much okay. so i missed it so i'll select both these endpoints so merge and while we have our sketch selected, I'll go to view layout and go for a crop view. Select your sketch and then go for crop view. So as the one thing that we have to notice while doing crop view is make sure your closed contour sketch is selected and then you can uh, go for a crop view. If it is not selected, then you can't do this. You have to select your sketch first and then click on the crop view now in this one we can have all these different crop view options like no outline jag lines and change the intensity of the jagged outline to keep it to like this and we can use all the different uh, display style so i'll go for hidden lines remove because if i do like this it's of no use right so let's go for hidden lines remove we can also change the scale for this one 
I think this scale is more than enough for this drawing so let's keep it like that and we can play with all these other options right so we have our crop view now and I can also right click on this crop view and go for crop view remove crop or edit crop if I go for edit crop I can then double click and adjust my sketch zoom in a bit you can pretty much do edit your sketch and once you are done just rebuild your drawing right we can also remove the crop from the uh, crop view so just right click on your crop view go for a crop view and remove the crop i don't want to remove it so let's keep it like that and that's how you can pretty much create a crop view i hope you guys like it and if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below i'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace out